Wake up, Jacob. It is me, IP. And if you are rocking with the tribe, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Smash the like button, and I would greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you guys came back in for another one. And hey, the, the hits just keep on coming. This is going to be a little bruise news, you know, news that affects each and every one of us to some extent, or at the very least, will raise our awareness. Some of you guys may have seen it already, but I do want to show you guys that right here in this article, and it's in a couple other places, I just decided to go with this one, that a black woman is set on fire in Wisconsin. You see that? A black woman set on fire in Wisconsin, and this is the young lady. So let's take a look at the story because this is crazy. Four assailants hurled racial slurs at this woman. So let's take a look. It says on Wednesday, June 24th, a black woman in Madison, Wisconsin reportedly suffered a third degree or suffered some third degree burns after four white men threw lighter fluid and a lighter at her face while she was in her car. Speaking with uh, Madison, 365, 18-year-old uh, EMT, Althea Bernstein, said the assailants yelled a racial slur at her before the attack. Quote, I was listening to some music at a stoplight, and then all of a sudden I heard someone yell the N-word really loud. She told the outlet, I turned my head and looked and someone throwing lighter fluid on me, and then they threw a lighter at me, and my, and my neck caught on fire, and I tried to put it out, but I brushed it up onto my face. I got out and then I just blasted through the red light. I just felt like I needed to get away. So I drove through the red light and just kept driving until I got to my brother's home. Uh, let's see here. According, according to the outlet, Bernstein's mother drove her to the hospital later that day where the hospital staff identified the liquid on her face and neck was lighter fluid. Police incident report says the men used a spray bottle to spray the lighter fluid onto Bernstein's face. At first, I didn't even believe what had happened, she said. I grew up in Madison and on the east side, and my dad would take me to the farmer's market every weekend on those same streets. It just felt so weird to have the, uh, these really happy memories there and then now to have this memory that sort of ruined all of the childhood memories. I never really knew someone could hate you just by looking at you. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. I was just driving my car and minding my own business. That's how it happens, folks. That's how it happens. According to the West Town State Journal, police are investigating the incident as a potential hate crime. On Thursday, June 25th, Madison Police uh, spokesman Joel Despain said investigators are looking at surveillance images of the street to see if the attack was captured on camera. Bernstein will reportedly need continual medical treatment for her burns. Rather than financial support, she asked that people sign the petition, support the movement, support Black Lives. Police are uh, urging everyone with information about the attack of Bernstein's assailant to contact Madison Area Crime Stoppers, and then the number is there on the screen. I'm going to back up because I'm just going to show you guys. I just chose this particular article, but it is everywhere. It is on The Hill. It's Revolt TV. It's WISN. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, it's uh, in BET right here. It's on Fox uh, Fox News right here where it says uh the protesters or uh, there's some unrest there guys this is crazy 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 guys um like i said pro protesters beat and rob black men on video biracial woman burned with lighter fluid this this is what we're going on this is the state that we are living in can you believe it can you believe it guys this is this is the state of where we are right now where the hate it was covert for years. Then we have some things happen, a few smattering of things, and now it's overt. And see, the problem is when I say, hey, you know what? There's going to be a race war. I mean, it's already here. And none of us that we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to deal with it. You know, I don't want one. OK, just because I say I think there's going to be one does not mean that I want one. OK, I, I don't want a one. I just think it's happening already because what's happening is. Sometimes people already have a uh, pent up hatred and racism, right? They already have it pent up and I, it doesn't matter what color you are, you know, for you to have hate. Anybody can hate, right? And we know racism is systemic, you know, and if you have no power, then it's just hatred or prejudice, right? But if you have power to 
do something to affect okay to 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 execute your 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 hatred whether it's uh through education whether it's through the banking or financial system or you know whether, anything your social political all these things if any if you can suppress someone else's right their liberty their freedoms and things like that then you are racist because you have power you can back it up that's why i say racism is systemic so i get that but a lot of people are getting very very sensitive because you know this whole protesting black Lives matters and things like that and it's starting to stir something up in them okay call it guilt you know call it you know, whatever the case may be, when people feel, you know, self-importance. I posted um, on social media. I just said, and all I said, I, I, I've had no qualifiers or anything like that. I put it on social media. I said, hey, what do you think about, you know, Dave Chappelle's um, 846? And I got someone who is, you know, Gentile. And they had one word response, racist, right? So, obviously, I've seen it, you know. And obviously, he's speaking to the black plight and stuff like that. But still. Stating what is happening is not racism. It's not race. Saying that, hey, a black man was killed by someone who's not black, that's not racist. That's stating what happened. You see? So you got some people who they, they get stirred up because this thing is it's 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 um it's no longer under a cloak, it's no longer under a veil. People are starting to see it. People are starting to speak out on it. It's becoming very, very obvious. So it makes people un it makes other people uncomfortable. Uncom it makes the unmelanated uncomfortable. It makes the however you want to say it makes white people. It makes Gentiles, whichever title you want to label it, it makes people uncomfortable. You can say it's making the oppressor uncomfortable. Now, am I inciting some kind of race war or anything? No, it's just a prediction. Okay. Yeah, it's I mean it's ha it's right in front of us. It is happening, folks. It is starting to happen right in front of us and it's constant. It's happening all the time. Okay, people are really acting out. We what what? We're not so far removed that we forget that we're, there's people who uh, you know, noose getting hung on trees. All of a sudden, all of a sudden now black people we just want to hang ourselves, okay? We heard about the noose in um Bubba Wallace Garage for NASCAR. It is starting to be very evident. It's just in front of us. It's just something that we have to, at the very least, acknowledge. It makes people feel some type of way on both sides. Obviously, it makes uh, we who are melanated, uh, who we are who are Israel, we are who are black or African American feel some type of way and then guess what it makes those who are not african-american feel some type of way it's very very interesting you got some people in the middle they're coming together the races are coming together and people are standing up and then you see this huge great gulf fixed if you forgive the comparison you do you see one side saying hey we need to be separate they're not we're not them and they are not us and that's how you're going to get a race war. That th th This is what is going to happen. These are pent up frustration. This is something that has been happening for hundreds of years. And then when you get into the 60s and you've got segregation and people want you to remain oppressed, you shouldn't have your rights, you're getting a little too uppity, if you know what I mean. Hey, they're going to be pushing back. They're going to be upset and they're going to be pushing back. Because they don't like these changes. But remember, brothers and sisters, you have infiltrators on both sides. You have folks who say that they are Israel and they are not Israel. And you have people who, they may not look like us, but they actually sympathize with our plight. So you're really going to have to look at this thing on a case by case basis. Okay? You have to. You got to look at these things on a case by case basis. Anyway, you got my thoughts. I am more interested in hearing your thoughts. So let me know what you think. Oh, yeah, by the way, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and let me know what you think in the comment section below until next time this is israelite prepper and we'll see you on the next video shalom